Hi everybody, this is Ann Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create stacked bar charts. Stacked bar charts are great for when you're working with ordinal data, for example, satisfaction survey data. In this example, I've already calculated what percentage of people selected strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree here. So now I want to show some of the patterns in a chart. So first, let's just look at the patterns for question one. So we'll select all of the data except the sum, Go up to the insert tab and let's start with a bar chart which is a perfect go-to chart if you're not sure which one to use. We'll select the first one right here, a 2D clustered bar. And that's pretty good. We can see that almost everybody selected strongly agree and that the percentages kind of go down over time. But what if you want to show both question one and question two in the same graph so that people can easily compare? Let's take a look at what that might look like. So we've selected the data. Let's go up to insert and we'll do another bar chart. That works, but it's not quite as easy on your eyes because you have to first look at the patterns for question one, these blues. Then you have to look at the patterns for question two, the reds, and then you also have to compare. It's just a lot of work for your eyes and your brain all at one time. We can make it even better with a stacked bar chart. Let's delete this one and let's go to insert again, go to bar, and click on the third one over. It says 100% stacked bar. 100% just means that the percentages have to add up to 100% like they do. That's, hmm, that's not quite right. If you get something that looks a little bit screwy, just go up to your design tab here, click on switch row and column. That's a lot better. And now let's switch the color scheme right here. Let's just try some blues. It's a little bit easier to visualize now. You can see the dark blues, the strongly agree for question two, really outweighed how many people selected strongly agree for question one. By the time you do the rest of the tweaking, like removing the grid lines and adding the data labels, maybe adjusting the colors a little bit more, you'll be able to see the patterns pretty clearly with a stacked bar chart. So there you go. That's how to create stacked bar charts. Thank you very much.